my new toys. Today we're going to go ahead and build a foot pedal for my GTT Phantom. Now the GTT Phantom is a two-stage glass blown torch. It has an inner fire called the Lynx and there's this outer fire called the Phantom. And what we're going to do is we're going to split the oxygen and propane line and we're going to have electric solenoids put in the middle so that way we can have a foot pedal that will turn them on and off. So that'll go ahead and turn my outer fire on and off without having me adjust it by hand. That'll save me time and money on oxygen. All right, let's get this started. What you're going to need for this build, you're going to need two national pipe threading to be fitting for propane. You're going to need two national pipe threading to oxygen for bee fitting as well. You're going to need two bee fittings for oxygen and two bee fittings for propane and four quarter inch fire fittings. We'll need two electrical solenoids, a yellow Teflon tape, we have 16 feet of wire, and we'll need an electrical box and cable connectors. And the last thing is four screws to hold the solenoids onto the electrical box. Now the tools we'll need, we'll need a hose cutter, two wrenches, a screwdriver, and a hair blower or a hot air gun. All together that cost under $100 USD. Most parts I got on eBay and the rest at my local hardware store. And make sure you use solenoids rated for welding. I put together this eBay collection of most of the parts needed and it will be available in the video description below. Now let's get started on that build. Now we'll go ahead and disconnect the oxygen and propane lines. We'll shut them off with the Y valves here. And we'll drain, bleed the lines on the torch. Now that we have our oxygen and propane disconnected, we're going to go ahead and figure out where to make the cut. Now I've already pre-measured this and marked it already. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our hose cutting tool. And it just cuts like butter. Now we're going to go ahead and stick the barb fittings onto the hose. We're going to need the barb fitting. We're going to need an oxygen or propane nut. And we'll also need the hose clamp. Now first we're going to put the hose clamp on. And then we're going to take the hair dryer and we're going to heat up the hose to be able to make it easier to put the barb fitting in there. Now we're going to do that three more times. Next we're going to put the adapters on the solenoids and make sure to put both propane on the same solenoid and both oxygen on the other. And we're going to use the yellow Teflon tape. Next, I have my electrician buddy do all the electrical He rewires the foot switch. Make sure you get a foot switch that will last. This one is only temporary. We had to drill a new hole for the larger wire. Put it back together and the foot switch is done. Next, he wires up the electrical box. Now, I make a template with a piece of paper and a marker so we can drill holes in the electrical box cover to mount the solenoids. Finish wiring the solenoids in. And hook up the wall plug. Finally, mount the solenoids to the cover and the cover to the electrical box. I'll need some shorter screws to secure the solenoids better, but other than that, we are done. This side of the hoses goes in the Y, and this other end to the torch. Then on one side we have the wall plug, and then on the other side we have the foot switch. 
Now we clean up. I temporarily mount the electrical box with zip ties under the table, position the pedal, and plug it in. Check all fittings for leaks. My local air supplier carries an oxygen safe leak detection compound. Now that we are all hooked up, let's test out that foot pedal. When we plugged in the foot pedal, both solenoids should have opened and we should be able to set the outer fire flame size. Now that we have the outer fire set, we can press the foot pedal and... Perfect! Both the oxygen and propane lines are shut off to the outer fire. Now that we still have the center fire running, hit the pedal and the outer fire comes on instantly. We built this project for under $100 USD and it took less than two hours to complete.